Welcome. Given the difficult economic environment, it is no surprise that companies offering benefit plans to employees are concerned about giving them good benefits and also keeping costs down. My guest is Phil Walduck. He is uh, Vice President of Pension and Structure Solutions with Prudential. Phil, it is a great pleasure. Thank you for joining us today. Thanks so much, Scott. Um, you know, this is a story that we've been hearing now. Companies, you know, look at benefit plans as a great way to not only attract new key employees, but to keep, you know, current employees uh, happy. And it's very competitive, and the, as we said in, in the beginning, the economic conditions are somewhat volatile right now. This study uh, seems to show that, uh, you know, companies are concerned about costs, and they're going to have difficulty, um, you know, keeping benefit plans current in these economic conditions. Would, would, would that be safe to say? Uh, it's fair to say, and it obviously, uh, I think it's the combination of um, a uh, low growth economy in which mm -hmm. there is not much pricing uh, power that employers face, and that's why when you saw the results of the CFO survey, uh, health care was a, a predominant concern mm -hmm. where the increasing cost of health care puts pressure on uh, the full menu of employee benefits, given uh, how much uh, health care is uh, uh, crowding out potentially other spends. And you're talking to CFOs here in this uh, study much of the time. Was there anything in here that, that surprised you when you looked at the results? Uh, there was nothing that was a shock, but I do think the uh, level of interest was higher than I would have predicted in both voluntary benefits, mm -hmm. uh, where one of the key themes were a broader uh, approach of choice for other benefits beyond health care, and the extent to which uh, pension de-risking uh, solutions were being actively evaluated and considered by plan sponsors. Those mm -hmm. are probably the two themes that had more um, CFOs responding positively than I would have predicted. Uh, with the health care laws sort of in flux right now, is that having a big effect on what they're, what they're thinking about and their decisions they're making? Uh, well, it does create uh, ambiguity for um, mm -hmm. sponsors of employee benefits, both uh, the health care dynamic and then the other benefits uh, not having uh, clarity in terms of what the landscape will be two, three uh, years out makes uh, planning difficult for employers. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about the retirement side, too. Yeah, you know, you have a volatile equity market situation right now. And, and how, how does one in plans like this, for example, a DB plan, how does one, uh, you know, look at managing the risk involved? Well, there's uh, two dynamics that are quite challenging for both DB sponsors, but also for 401k and DC mm -hmm. participants. One is the volatile equity markets. And, uh, the uh, relatively uh, low growth, low return expectations uh, that people now have. And the other is uh, uh, interest rates uh, that uh, have fallen significantly over the last uh, couple of years. And uh, the combination of low rates and low return expectations in the stock markets mean uh, that that combination makes funded status and managing pension risk uh, difficult for a defined benefit sponsor, but it also mm -hmm. makes uh, saving and funding a retirement uh, if it's via a 401k or a defined contribution plan challenging for an individual. Mm -hmm. So uh, that impacts a corporation uh, slightly differently than it does an individual, but it's a similar impact mm -hmm. in that those are challenging obligations to meet, mm -hmm. whether it be a sponsor that has a DB plan or an individual that has uh, retirement uh, that they're trying to build through personal savings in a 401k. It sounds like managing cost really is is all about you know offering more voluntary benefits. But then the rub there is that there are a lot of you know a lot of employees are not even funded for retirement adequately, and it it would seem that that would lead to more of that happening. Well, and that is the the rub in terms of cost. And there's the, there's a balance of striking uh, cost versus certainty. Uh, and uh, from an employer's perspective, low rates means that their liability is larger. Uh, mm -hmm. Liabilities are measured by a discounting interest rates. Um, but it also has a similar message for participants, uh, which is in a low return or a low rate environment, you need to save more. And it's going to cost a company more to fund their pension plan, and it'll cost an individual more to fund their retirement in a low-rate, low-growth environment. Uh, this study was asking uh, the uh, CFOs, too, again, about the, the uh, possibility of terminating DB plans altogether. What was the response there? Well, uh, interestingly, um, both uh, plan terminations uh, and freezes, which are uh, benefit policy 
uh, strategies that uh, sponsors can employ, um, that um, this uh, idea of uh, freezing or terminating your plan are one of the options that sponsors are considering. And uh, in doing so, about a little more than uh, 40%, 43% of CFOs um, responded that they were uh, likely or somewhat likely to uh, execute some form of risk transfer in the next two years. Uh, and one of those forms can be terminating a plan and then transferring risk to an insurer. Mm -hmm. uh, and do you see, too, on the retirement side, uh, it, it, it appears that uh, other products with guaranteed income, for example, annuities, are, may play a larger part in, in some of these strategies? Yeah, we're early in the um, uh, strategy of annuities with guarantees making an impact in the 401k market, but that clearly is a trend, uh, as you, and it makes sense as you think about it, if uh, increasingly uh, within the private sector people will not have defined benefit plans, which are excellent vehicles at providing income and retirement security, well, that risk is now shifted to participants, mm -hmm. and increasingly uh, I would expect that sponsors will want to make their DC or 401k plan perform more like a DV plan, and mm -hmm. uh, annuities are a way to make that happen because it protects participants. Uh, from the risk of living longer than expected, as well as capital market risk that could cause um, them to fall short in retirement, where DB plans obviously pool those risks and deliver a certain mm -hmm. outcome uh, that uh, is not otherwise present in a 401k plan. Uh, do, do you think, too, that BP administrators may, you know, have to play a bigger role on a day-to-day -day basis with uh, not only managing the plan, but, but, but helping people use it efficiently with things like tax and integrating it with Social Security planning and things like that? Something that a plan, you know, a planner would, would be doing, but um, just to make it work efficiently, don't you think they might have to play a bigger role? Yeah, I think there is a model out there that still needs to be defined, but uh, mm -hmm. to the extent that all this complexity and risk is being shifted from mm -hmm. a um, uh, do-it-for-you model, defined benefit, to a do-it-yourself model, 401k, uh, participants are going to need help. Mm -hmm. And uh, there are tax issues, there are benefit coordination issues, such as should I take early Social Security, should I take uh, late Social Security, what if I do have a DB, or if my spouse does, how does that fit into my picture? Do I go Roth or not Roth? There are a lot of questions that uh, overwhelm the average uh, saver or investor, mm -hmm. and uh, there definitely is a need uh, for um, advice and help in that, in that mix. Well, in closing, Phil, the overall big message that you're getting from this study, uh, what would that be? Uh, that uh, health care is challenging, uh, mm -hmm. so that is squeezing employers in terms of their overall benefits and compensation mix, uh, that uh, employer benefits are changing with more voluntary benefits uh, increasingly being offered, and that uh, sponsors are looking for ways to manage and transfer risk, and increasingly there will be a need for guarantees and uh, solutions that could help 401k plans deliver more certain outcomes to shift some of that risk from participants mm -hmm. uh, to insurers. Uh, my guest has been Phil Waldeck. He is uh, Vice President of uh, Prudential's Pension and Structured Solutions. Uh, Phil, it's a great pleasure. Thank you so much. Thanks so much, Scott. Great chatting with you. And you're watching Annuity News Now.